Happy Easter! It is Easter Sunday and I am thrilled to be able to share the last egg in our resurrection egg carton today. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Our egg today is a light blue egg. And let's see what we can find inside of it. Huh. Well, y'all look at that. The egg is empty. Now you all are very smart. I bet you can guess what the empty egg reminds us of. It reminds us of the empty tomb and Jesus' resurrection from the dead. You can read along about this in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 5 through 8. Now, if you remember, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary had gone to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body with spices. And what did they find? Nothing except Jesus' grave clothes. His body was gone. The soldiers were gone. They were afraid and they were confused. But then an angel appeared to them and the angel said, do not be afraid. Jesus' body has not been stolen. He is risen from the dead. Go, go, tell the disciples what has happened, that Jesus is risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Now they ran really hard and really fast back to tell the disciples what they had seen. And after this happened, then Jesus appeared to Peter and Jesus then also appeared to the disciples. And then he appeared to more than 500 other people. So Jesus' appearance to eyewitnesses or people who saw them with their own eyes is what would give support and prove that Jesus did in fact rise from the dead. Now by rising from the dead, Jesus proved once and for all that he was the Messiah, the savior of the world, the chosen one, the lamb of God. By dying on the cross and rising from the dead, Jesus did what no one had ever, ever done before. And as both God and man, he overcame sin, death, and hell. And now, because of what Jesus has done, those things no longer have any power over us either if we believe that Jesus is the Son of God and we allow his Holy Spirit to lead and direct us in our lives every day. Rather than being slaves to sin and death, those of us who believe in Jesus or Christians are free now to obey God and do good. However, we will only obey God if we listen to the Holy Spirit, which is going to be our helper. The Holy Spirit enables us to be sensitive to God and his leadings and his guidings and to obey his word which is a very important part of following the Holy Spirit, reading God's word. Because reading his word, reading the Bible, is often how the Holy Spirit works to show us what God wants. God's holy word is always true, and we will never be asked to say or do or anything that contradicts or go against God's will in the Bible. There's going to be a lot of different things that will happen through your lives. Different people might talk to you, even good people who think that they're speaking truth about God and what he wants. But if it ever contradicts or doesn't go along with what God's holy word, the Bible says, then remember, God's word is the only truth. Now, we're not always going to do the right thing for sure, which is why we need to continue to confess our sins every day to God, knowing that God is going to forgive us based on what Jesus did on the cross. It's also a reason that we need to spend time with other believers in Christ so that they can encourage our faith and just help us through those times when we might have questions and doubts. So surround yourself with other people who know Jesus, and that will be such an encouragement 
Today, read the Easter story. Celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Remember his incredible love for you. There could never be a greater love shown than what Jesus has shown you by dying on the cross and rising from the dead so that you can be with him forever and ever. It has been a true joy and pleasure to share our family's tradition of the resurrection eggs with each one of you. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have, but more importantly, I hope that it has helped you to focus on Easter, the true story of Easter, and Jesus' incredible love for you. Can't wait to be with you all again. Love you. Bye-bye.